guys, how's it going? I hope you enjoyed seeing this little fairy garden come together. The challenge with this garden was to create it using only things from around the house, like regular household items, kind of regular craft supplies. I mean, sometimes I have popsicle sticks on hand, sometimes I don't, but they're very easy to come by. And also no purchased materials in terms of like going out and buying new things, like no new plants. These are all things that I dug out of my own garden or my own lawn. I mean, I used some lawn grass that had crept into one of my flower beds. And most all of us have access to weeds. Um, and those are a plant too, and you could dig those up and use those in this type of garden. But I just wanted to show you uh, just a quick idea of something you could do utilizing stuff that you have on hand when we're at home right now, because as we all are. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of walk you through the steps of this garden and talk about some of the supplies I used. Uh, first thing was a Rubbermaid kitchen storage container. Very inexpensive. Most of us have a stack of those hanging around our house. I happened to have this one that had a broken lid, so it was kind of perfect. Uh, and then I used my hot glue gun, which was all revved up. I had it plugged in for a while, so it was nice and hot. And it was able to just uh, melt three drainage holes to the bottom in the bottom of the container. Uh, and you could certainly use a drill if that's what you have on hand, but the hot glue gun is the only thing about this garden that kind of makes it maybe a little bit of an older kid activity or you know, under the supervision of an adult sort of activity. Uh, and then what did I do next? I made my popsicle stick picket fence to kind of mask the fa fact that it's a plastic container. Um, and that was really easy to do. I just you know cut the bottoms of the, um, the popsicle sticks so that they were nice and flat on the bottom and then made individual panels for each side and then connected them with a corner piece and then hot glued them to the sides of the container. So like I can pick this whole container up, that's part of it now. Um, and it turned out really cute. Now, I was toying with the idea of painting it or staining it because I do have those types of, of supplies on hand. I might stain it. This is a uh, wood finish, early American is the, the stain color. I might do that just to make this look a little less raw, but you could leave it this way or you could paint it primary colors because I did use primary color popsicle sticks in the rest of the decor. Then I did have a little terracotta pot, which you could use like a solo cup that you've cut you know, the top off to make it a little shorter. And I hot glued some rocks to it, painted the inside white, and then created some little furniture <laughs> out of popsicle sticks. Um, there's a popsicle stick rug with a little jute twine on the ends. There's a um, chandelier. I used a couple of greening pins or you could use any kind of paddle wire. Um, I have greening pins up here because uh, I use them for succulent projects. So I just used my clippers and I was able to bend the ends. Then I hot glued a little uh, piece of yellow popsicle stick to look like a light bulb and then hot glued that to the top. I made a little blue Gothic arch window on this side. And then there's a little picture, a happy face picture um, hung on the wall in the very back. Uh, what else? I have a twig furniture. So there's two little twig chairs in there. I uh, would have helped had I brought a pair of tweezers in here uh, because those are pretty fine and little tiny pieces. So you have to be very careful when you're using the hot glue gun, especially. And then all the plants. So I'll just run through what I went and dug up in my own yard. First off, there's two little patches of grass that I got from that were creeping into a flower bed. I have a section of a columbine that kind of self seeds itself all over the place. So I dug up little pieces of that, which I'm kind of expecting, we'll see, they might wilt a little bit right in the beginning. You water them and they'll pick right back up. There was a little hookra baby that was kind of an offshoot to an adult that I had out there. There's some centaria, there's some muscari that was blooming beautifully and I wanted at least one thing to have color. Um, there is a little piece of lungwort and there's a little ajuga baby that had spread itself from the mother plant and then a couple little hellebore seedlings. <laughs> So it's like a menagerie of little things. And you can use whatever you have out in your garden, anything that's green and that has leaves. And how fun to just go out and kind of go on a scavenger hunt for neat looking plants. And I really, I feel like I was able to come up with like some good texture and color difference uh, without having to buy a single thing. And then I put in little pieces of popsicle stick as kind of a pathway edger, uh, some sand. You could use little stones or little pieces of, of wood as stepping stones. And then I made a little home sweet home sign. I just hot glued a little piece of popsicle stick to a, a, a real stick and pushed it down in the ground. And that is it for this garden. Um, so how I would water it, let me grab my water tank real quick. Now every garden is going to be different. I have this up here because I've got lots of seedlings up here. You could use a large syringe. You could use 
really whatever you want as long as you water slowly and carefully. For me, I usually like to water with something that's pretty precise because I do a lot of stuff with sand and I don't want it to dislodge everywhere. So this, like I'll show you, I can just direct it right toward the root ball and I'm watering right now. You can't see it, but that's kind of the point. You want it to be nice and clean. I can water everything from behind so that nothing up here gets ruined or dislodged. And then this type of garden, since it has drainage, all the plants had a nice root system. If it, as long as I keep it watered and put it in a really bright spot, it should survive for quite a long time. So anyway, I just thought this was a kind of a fun challenge and a fun project, you know, given the state of everything. Right now, it was just fun to use some creativity and put something together quick with whatever we had on hand. So anyway, I think I'm going to stain this and then I'm going to try to get some good pictures of it so you can see close-ups of what of all the stuff that's going on in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a really great day and we will see you in the next one. Bye.